In this video, I demonstrate the basic use of the clone command in Minecraft. Clone is a vanilla command, so you don't need any any mods to use it. It was introduced in 1.8 and is available in both the Java and Bedrock editions. I'm using right now the Java edition version 1.12.2. So the clone command is used to copy blocks from one location to another, basically. And if we do slash help clone, we can see that clone takes uh, nine arguments and then two optional. So right now we're just going to talk about the nine and, and not bother with the optional. So the first nine arguments of the clone command are the are three sets of coordinates. And if we're going to copy this section of wool blocks here, from this location up to where that green block is, we need, okay, like I said, three sets of coordinates. The first two define the boundaries of this area here, this, this volume that we want to copy. And so the first set of coordinates we need is the northwest bottom, so the lowest of the XYZ coordinates, which is this pink block here. This pink block has the lowest of the XYZ coordinates. It's the northwest bottom block of this volume that we want to copy, and that's its coordinates right there. Then we need the coordinates of the southeast top block. So that is the higher of the XYZ coordinates. And in this case, it is 206, 6, and 989. So that's the first six of our arguments. And then the last three are the, destina the, uh, the coordinates of the destination place. So wherever we want to move it to, we need the coordinates of that block. And this will end up being the, the northwest bottom of the, the new copy. So in other words, the pink block right there will end up replacing the green block right there. And then everything else will be coming out you know, this way and back from there. So I wrote the three coordinates down here on the sign, on the signs. So to execute the command, we do slash clone, and then first the the lower coordinates of the thing we want to copy, and then the higher coordinates of the thing we want to copy. So that defines the volume that we want to copy, and then the coordinates of that destination block. So executing the clone command does what I said it would do. And you'll notice that the signs, so that sign right there and those two signs did not get copied because even though they're on the block, they're actually not inside the volume. They're outside the volume, so they didn't get copied. They would have if they had been inside the volume. And that's basically it. That's how the clone command works. Now, there are some limitations of the clone command. And obviously, you need to have cheats enabled in single player or you need to be opt on a server. The blocks that you want to copy and the place you want to copy to have to all be loaded. So you can't copy from or to unloaded chunks, which basically means you have to have a, a player in the in the place, in both places. Uh, you can't rotate or otherwise change the orientation. So we had to copy this to there like that. We couldn't have rotated around so the blue block was on the other side. That clone command can't do that. And as far as I know, there's no command in vanilla Minecraft that allows that, uh, that ability to change the orientation of the thing you're copying. And then another limitation is that you can only clone a maximum of 32,768 blocks, which is 2 to the 15th power. And that's a lot of blocks. It looks like that. That's 32,768 blocks. You can see way off in the distance there. I copied it just to make sure it would actually work. And when I did it one more, it failed. And if it doesn't, if it's too many blocks, the, the command will fail and it'll give a message saying that that's too many blocks to copy. And obviously this 32,768 blocks can be in any kind of of configuration, so it didn't have to be a cube like this. It could be a long 
rectangle thing or whatever, as long as the entire volume is no more than 32,768 blocks. And uh, clone also operates only on blocks and not on entities. So you can't copy villagers or mobs or arrows that are flying or whatever with the clone command, only blocks. The clone command also had those two optional arguments, the mask mode and the clone mode, which I'm not going to cover here. If you would like me to leave a comment asking for that, and if there's enough people that want that, then I'll do a video explaining those two as well. And that's basically the clone command. So if you found that helpful, hit the like button, and thanks for watching.